Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I would like to go over how to link Navigraph to your little nav map and your pilot to ATC application to get all of the updated AIRAC charts for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Coming up on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back. So to get started with this process, we first need to go over to the Navigraph website. Links will be down below in the description. Once you're here, we need to go and click on the download page at the very top. Once you're on this page, we need to scroll down to where we get to the FMS Data Manager. Then you just want to download the Data Manager depending on which system you have, either Mac OS or Windows. Once you have that downloaded and installed, we can now move on to the next part of the process. If you have Little Nav Map or Pilot to ATC open, now's a good time that you want to close those applications. Once installed, you should see the Navigraph FMS Data Manager on your desktop. We can then double click to open. If this is your first time opening this application, yours should be blank down here below in the lower dialog box. You will also need to set this up for your Navigraph account if it doesn't already ask you for that information when you start up the application. To do that, you need to go over to the Settings tab at the top and this set up your account information in here. Once you have this completed, you would then need to go over to the Add-on Mappings tab at the top. In this menu is where we can either scan our PC or manually add any applications to the FMS Data Manager. What I recommend to do is to use the Scan option first before you manually add any applications. So you would just go over, hit the Scan, and this should bring up any applications that you may have on your PC that you can link with your Navigraph charts. Once the application has either scanned and automatically found the applications or you go to the Add button and add it manually, now we can move over to the Add-on List option at the very top. In this menu is where we can update these applications with the current AIRAC cycles. So to do that, we would just either tick on All or you can select these individually and then you can go right over to the update this item or we can click on the update all at the very top and it will update all of your applications with the current information from Navigraph. Now keep in mind that this will most likely need to be done once a month once the AIRAC cycles have changed. Once you have finished updating in the data manager, make sure to go into your little nav map application, go to the scenery library tool and go down to Navigraph. Make sure that you have Select Automatically, and it should now populate to use Navigraph for nav aids and procedures. All right, so that's it for today. If you enjoyed today's content or found it useful, be sure to go down below and hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. To all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.